Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play by me, the Game Wolf 7 of More Not Too Revised. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can go down to the link in the description where you can download and play this game for free. And with that, let's start. Ah, it's you. Good afternoon. It's nice to be back here after what happened with Tora Heiko. Oh, right. Last week's uh, episodes of More Nazi weren't fun because for Revise had to reject Tora Heiko and for uh, the regular one, or well, the original, uh, there was a scary story which I was not in the good frame of mind to have a jump scare happen. Woof. Anyways, continue. We've been doing this for only a short while, but I've gotten so used to pressing the doorbell and having Shin come me uh, welcome me inside. He opens the gates, then leads me w uh, the way to the front door. I think I'm going to teach you how to make a pound cake today. Yes, Jeff. <laughs> Is it foo 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 or he 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 or? It's weird. There's lots of haws. Anyways, don't confuse sugar with salt this time. Harsh. Understood, Chef. Master Chef. Seriously, Dark, you need to focus today. Ooh. S sorry, Shin. I gotta remember what I'm dealing with here. Shin was never very good at with teasing. I don't think I've ever tasted a cookie that salty. I can't help it. Sugar and salt look exactly the same, especially when they're sitting right next to each other. You couldn't tell the difference when you open the lid? Salt granulates look different and have a very distinct smell. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Jeff. I fall to my knees and make a pleading gesture towards Shin. I remember to read the label next time. Why are you doing that? I'm not mad at you. So he says, but I still remember the look he gave me when he realized what he was tasting. He had a wide smile, but his face was anything but happy. I spent the rest of the day in cold sweat. I'm not going to make a mistake like that today. No, sir. Let's start with the ingredients for today. Oh, do you put salt in cookies? Maybe. Like, a little bit. Perfect. Now we just need to bake it in the oven. Set the temperature to about 180 degrees and let the cake rise for 30 minutes. You should really keep watch on as it bakes. If you leave it there too long, it, you'll ruin it. Nothing in the world can save a burnt cake. What up, right? Baked Alaska. Focus. If you follow exactly what the recipe says, everything should turn out fine. Okay, got it. That's all there is to it. Make sure you don't mix dough too much, or you'll mess up the cake's texture. I had to learn that the hard way. That makes sense. Thanks for the tip. Hmm. What should we do while we wait? Head out of the gutter. As he was talking, he sets the timer on his stopwatch. Shin, could I have a moment of your time? What? Where? What is it? Mr. Maki suddenly appears behind me. He's as silent as ever. I have some errands to run, so I need you to watch the house for a while. Maybe I can ask you too, Dark? Sure, Mr. Maki. Is that a Japanese thing where you always have to have somebody to watch the house? Hmm. Also, sorry about all these side notes, but somebody, I know somebody was house sitting. Like, they told me that, like, a couple of days ago. Like, what do you do? It's not like we're planning to go anywhere. Uh, of course. I apologize. I didn't mean it that way. I told you to not be so formal with me, Amaki. It's not something I can simply stop doing, Shin. Now then, I'll be going. Take care. Huh? 
I'm pretty sure Mr. Maki just winked at me. That was surprisingly formal for somebody like Mr. Maki. Uh, not formal. What do you mean? I don't know. I figured servants are supposed to use language like young master or shall I take my leave? I try speaking in my most elegant voice. It doesn't work. What was that, Dark? I'm trying, okay? <laughs> I really need to look that up. What foo 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 sounds like. I might used to talk like that, but it always made me uncomfortable. I told him to stop. Really? My father would lose his mind if he found out about it. I think I understand how you feel, Shin. From what I've seen of Mr. Maki, he acts more like an older brother than a servant. Maybe. It's not weird, is it? Hmm? No, not at all. I think it's awesome you two are so close. Thanks. Hmm? What's wrong? I used to call him Big Brother when I was in kindergarten. You could say he's more like family than my actual family. What do you mean? You never met my parents, have you? I don't think so. I hardly ever see them. They're busy people. Plus, it's not like Minnesota is easy to reach. I've spent more time with Maki than my own parents. I wish I wasn't so sick. Shin? Maybe then I wouldn't feel so lonely all the time. Shin? Are you alright? Oh, sorry, I was just reminiscing. Come on, let's go upstairs and play a game. You smile sweetly at me, but at this point I'm pretty sure it's an act. Gosh, why my heartstrings? Come on. Is it my turn? Yep, make whatever move you like. Oh, okay. I pretend to be nervous a bit before feeling my amazing hand I have. And sorry for that sound outside. I think there's a thunderstorm. Heh, <laughs> full house. Beat that. Is that so? Yes, I've got him beat this time. Four of a kind. Mother! What? <laughs> I lost. Again? I drew the joke when I had three of a kind. A lucky wild card saved the day, I guess. S seriously, I had an incredible hand too. You're too good at poker, Shin. It's all luck, Dark. I would have lost if I didn't draw that poker, that uh, joker. You say that, but you've won every hand you've played today. I'm sure you've won once or twice. Want to play again? You're on. The stopwatch starts beeping the moment I answer. Ah, looks like the cake is done. We'll continue this later. Okay. Today, we're actually having fun, uh, having something sweet. I'm looking forward to it. Duh. Are you ever gonna let that go? Mm-hmm. He's... He has a teasing smile on his face as he walks out the bedroom door. A few minutes later, there's a beautifully cut slice of cake on a plate. And a collapsed, uneven, badly cut slice on another. I, I don't get it. I followed the instructions exactly as Shin said. How could they turn out so different? Emaki, could, uh, could you prepare us some tea? Oh, tea sounds good with cake. Oh, that's right, he went out. Oh well. He reaches up into the cupboard and pulls out some tea, some tea packets out. So Mr. Maki usually prepares the tea? I can brew it too, but it's nowhere near as good as when he makes it. Huh? Maki is an exceptionally, is an exceptional cook. Shin doesn't hand out compliments lightly. Mr. Maki must be really amazing. I like to think I'm able to 
compete when it comes to sweets, though. He finishes making the tea, then holds up the plates with the slice I cut. Uh, isn't that one mine? You cut this for me, didn't you? Huh? I'm kidding. It was good for a first try, but we need to work on your technique before giving something like this nut this to your before giving something like this to your crush. Sorry, I read crush and I was like, wait, that doesn't make oh wait now it does. I guess so. Don't look so nervous, Dark. I'm sure it's delicious. Next time you cut cake though, try not to shake your hand so much. I was trying to be delicate. <laughs> He's looking right at me. What do I do? Um... Oh. Sorry. Why can't I control myself when I'm around you? It, it's no problem. Mine just must have wandered off while we were talking. Is that so? He seemed kind of troubled there for a second. How about we continue our game while eating cake? Shin smiles at me as he leads me up to his room. Maybe I'm just seeing things? You know, I think we're a bit under time, so I think we'll go for another day. Ah, it's been years since I've attended Minnesota's Bond Festival. Ooh. Yeah, I think we can do this. Everything is so nostalgic. In the distance, I can hear the festival band, and my emotions beat fast to the rhythm. Ha! I'm a little nervous about this. I called Shin this morning and asked if he wanted to go to the festival with me. He seemed a little unsure about it, too, saying he would only slow me down. I said it didn't matter, we could just wander around for the evening. I guess he didn't realize the real reason I asked him. <laughs> I guess you could say this is a date? Thinking about it that way, the thumping in my chest grows louder. I got here earlier than I intended to, but knowing Shin, he shouldn't be too far behind. Ah! There he is. He looks so cute in that kimono. I think that, unless there's a different word for, I don't know. Good evening, Dark. Good evening. Uh, are you okay? It's nothing. I'm not used to walking around in a yukata. So I guess that's different from a kimono, or maybe it's a type. I don't know. Anyway, did I keep you waiting? No, not not at all. I just got here too. Well, if by just got here, you mean maybe an hour ago? Jeez, don't be so pathetic, Dark. <clears throat> uh, that aside... Ooh. Let's go with cute, because that seems a bit too, you know, flirty. Yeah, we got to choose something. I always hate doing these. Uh, you look cute today. D do you really mean that? Yeah. That's something you say to girls, dummy. Uh, you, Amaki. What is everyone thinking? T Sorry, Shin. So where are we headed first? Okay, what happens if I said beautiful? Because that's also something you say to girls. I'm pretty sure they'll start the fireworks later on tonight. Are there any other interesting events? Not right now, no. Actually, just give me one second while I just look up Shin's roots to see if that was an actual thing. At least in the original version. More not to... Let it load. Go down to Shin's very complicated dating thing. 
ba 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 da. Uh. I guess not, at least in the original version. I don't know, Shit's Heart at Roots is really hard. Like, I didn't get the perfect root because I didn't, you know, immediately resuscitate him. Or try to. Oh well. How about we check out some of the food carts? Sure. Sorry, I told you I'd be no fun for this. That's not true at all. It's not his fault nothing's exciting is happening yet. I smile at the unexcited cat as the two of us walk to the bustling festival together. And one hour later... Hmm. I force myself to swallow holding back every signal my body sends telling me not to. My watery eyes glance over at the smiling cat next to me. I've managed to conquer these sweet, lethal weapons. For now. Just look at... Just a look of supreme bliss. Delicious. Hmm? Hmm. I nod my head in response, try not to cry out in agony. After glancing my eyes around the festival grounds for a moment, I see... Wah! There! Put my finger at the nearby cart. Taco Yaki. Why don't we have some? Oh, is that another crepe stand? Let's try some of theirs and compare them to the ones we had earlier. My shoulders drop. I think I'm learning something the hard way. N no! I meekly voice out my disagreement, but I sure but I'm sure the fake smile I have tells another story. Something wrong? You ate too much, didn't you? No. Well, maybe a little. Don't mind if I buy some for myself? Sure, go for it. As I watch Shin walk over to the crepe cart, a single tear falls from my eye. This is not going the way I thought it would. It's the Bond Festival. You should be having a good time together. Instead, I'm trying not my trying my hardest not to throw up right now. Everything seems okay at first. We bought crepes together, played some festival games. I haven't seen such genuine smile on my friend's face in a long time. Maybe I'm overreacting. Please, Shin, let me eat something salty tonight. My body can't take any more sugar. I've already had crepes, strawberry candies, Ning, Yo Yaki, cotton candy, chocolate bananas. I can feel my body shaking from all the sweets in me right now. I've been trying to steer us towards the takoyaki or yaki soba stands, but Shin has his incredible sweet tooth. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome back. He turns with a crepe in his hand. I can't hold back the shivers I get just looking at the thing. No hesitation. He starts eating it. Ugh. How can that body of his handle so much sugar? Are you okay, Dark? I'm fine. How's the crepe? The cream is, isn't very good, but it's better than the one we had earlier. I see. Are you sure you don't want a bite? No! I, I mean, no thank you. It's all yours. Enjoy. Okay then. He starts eating the crepe even faster than I expected. Hmm. It's gone before I know it. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be sick. Hey Shin. Would you like to try some hot dogs next? Please, let me have some salt. I thought you were full. Um, well... Crap, I dug my own grave, didn't I? Or are you just running out of money? How about I treat you instead? I bought quite a bit. Uh, qu yeah. I bought quite a bit with me tonight, or brought. Sh sure. It's not it, but. Hmm? I guess he hasn't noticed the way my hands are shaking. 
I don't have the heart to tell him no. It, it's fine. Come on. Oh, it's the chocolate banana stand again. You're trying to kill me, Shin. Trying to get me the worst root. Those are better than hot dogs, don't you agree? He's hopeless. I've got to try something else. Hey, I'm feeling kind of thirsty all of a sudden. Oh? Would you like some khaki ice cream then? No, I think I just want some tea. Maybe I should cut my losses here. After managing to split away from Shin long enough to buy a bottle of oolong tea, I met up with him again and started steering us away from the food stalls. Hey, do you want to try ring tossing? Why are we heading this way? There's so few stalls we haven't checked out over there yet. Oh, no. I'm not heading towards there. I think I see a couple more crepe stalls. But, but Chin, we've done nothing but eat so far. It's the Bond Festival. It's to, it'd be sad if we didn't do anything else. Suppose so. Uh, where should we go next then? Yes, finally! I escaped the infinite sugar hell. Getting away out of the sugar dimension. <laughs> uh, f follow me. With a smile on my face, I leech in away from the sweet stalls as my heart cries out in victory. Ring toss, shooting galleries, smart balls, what are smart balls? Uh, what should we do first? Hey, isn't that... He suddenly stops in place. In my mind, I hear my neck creak loudly while turning to look where he's pointing. Ah, it's not another sweet stall, thank goodness. Looks like a stream of people heading somewhere. Oh, that's so cool. It's... Tatsuki. There's a crowd gathering around the wooden stage. Tatsuki stands in the center in a huge... With a huge taiko drum. Moments later, he begins playing. The drum vigorous sounds are accompanied by traditional Japanese instruments. The bond dance is starting. Jeez, let's take... That takes me back. The bond dance? Yeah. Uh... What? You don't know about it? I... <laughs> oh, wow. Shin, you're so deprived. That's not gonna be a good thing to say. Don't look at me like that. It's not like I know how to dance. Huh? He looks away and lowers his voice. Yeah, this is my chance. Why don't we dance together? What? Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. W wait, Dark. I grab Shin's arm and drag him alongside me. I, I don't want to... Just like that. You're doing fine. Just do whatever everyone else is doing. <laughs> I look stupid. Hey, there's nothing wrong with letting him go once in a while. He continues moving awkwardly. Every now and then, he mutters the same thing to himself. I wish he could just relax. Hey, you're stiffening up your shoulders again. Why are you so nervous about this? I'm here too, aren't I? Right. He stiffens up even worse when I mention that. I do my best to ignore it while continuing to lead him in the dance. Ah! Oof. Are you okay? Looks like he tripped and fell in front of me. Sorry. It's the stupid yak yukata. I'm okay. Shin stands up in a flash, then returns his awkward move and says he tries to mimic everyone else. Uh... His shoulders are stiffening up again. <sighs> it, it's probably because there's too many people around. <sighs> hey! 
Are you feeling alright? You're breathing heavier. I'm... F f I'm fine. And he goes back to being awkward and clumsy. Shin frantically looks around him, doing his best to imitate the movements while trying to maintain composure. I continue to dance with him, though I'm a little worried. <laughs> Ugh. Shin? Ah! Shin! Before I have time to catch him, he collapses onto the floor. Shin! I managed to carry Shin away from the dancing area and lead him to a bench. I think he may have had an asthma attack. It's okay, take a break. We sit together for a while in silence. You did pretty well for your first time dancing, Shin. No response. I shift my gaze away from the moody friend for my moody friend to stare into the distance. I'm sorry. I should have remembered your asthma. How can anyone love someone like me? I hear a meek voice speak out next to me, but I can't quite understand what he said. Hmm? Oh. I, I looked really bad out there, didn't I? I look at him and shake my head. It wasn't a competition, Shin. You did good. All things considered. All things considered. It's a bond dance. There's no reason to take it seriously. Relax. I gently rest my hand against the back of his back and rub up and down. I hope this will calm him down a bit. Hey. Get up from the bench and stand in front of him. Look at me. Hmm? With a smile, I start flailing about, or flailing around my limbs like an octopus, relaxing every muscle in my body. You just have to loosen up. <laughs> Why do I feel so strange when I'm with you? Wait, what did you mean by that? Uh. Wouldn't it I look idiotic if I tried doing the same thing? I stop moving and stare down at him. He's so casually mean sometimes. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Now I really do look like an idiot. Sorry for putting a damper on things. D don't worry about it, Shin. He looks up at me with a smile. Or... Is it a fake smile? I'm feeling a lot better now. Let's keep enjoying the festival, okay? There are still food stalls we haven't seen yet. Yeah, food stalls. What? Wh what? Give me a break from the sweets. Oh, uh. D damn it. Now that you mention it. All we've had tonight are sweets. I'm sorry. Why didn't you say something earlier? Uh... Eh. I put my hand behind my head and rump slightly. It's getting a awkward. I guess I didn't want to ruin the mood. We're having so much... Uh... Er, fun. You're not making it sound any better. I don't get to sometimes. You're considerate in the strangest places. Sorry. What are you apologizing for? You could have been as shameless as you usually are. I wouldn't have cared. Sh shameless? It's that how he sees me? It's why I like you, Dark. You treat me like you would anyone else. What? N not like that. I don't get it. But he's been so strange. He walks off towards the festival grounds. H hey, wait up. He 
pass the time doing a variety of things around the shrine. Uh, pro I guess I probably should have said, um, what's that one warning? The thing with flashing stuff. So, yeah, warning about people that... Uh, I can't remember it, but flashing lights. There's probably gonna, there's gonna be more than that, I guess. As you took aim with our rifles, loud sound rang out above us, showering the air with different colored lights. Looks like the fireworks are starting. Yeah. Darn. Trap. Almost. Ah, so sorry. We used a baller shot, so I hand the gun back to the stall attendant. Did you really want that stuffed animal? Not really, but I hate losing easy games like this. Then why are you playing it? It's... fun? If you say so. I should stop now. Or I'm gonna go crazy. Wanna do something else? Sure. Hmm. This looks like a good spot. The two of us sit on the grass away from the festival lights. There aren't very many people around here. It's a quiet, secret place. It's beautiful. Yeah. I've always watched them from my bedroom window. It's nice to see them up close. I smile at him before leaning back against a nearby tree. Dark? Hmm? Thanks for inviting me. Y you don't need to thank me. I stumble on my words slightly. I didn't expect him to say something like that. I, I just wanted to come to the festival with you. It's the most fun I've had in a while. I thought you should know that. Thank you. Uh... My face is burning red right now. You're welcome, then. Jin crawls back to backward and leans against a tree next to me. The two of us raise our eyes to the fireworks, blowing up in the sky. Dark? Yeah? Can I hold your hand? I glance over to Shin in the darkness. His eyes are downcast, staring at his own feet. The light of the fireworks, his profile seems lonely. Ah. I tightly grasp his left hand. How's this? It's a gentle sensation, but I'm sure I felt his soft hand grab back. Thank you, Dark. Even now, though, he still seems lonely. You okay, Shin? I'm sorry. I was thinking about something that happened when I was a kid. When you first moved here? A little bit after. My mother and father came to visit once. What happened? You know my parents work for a big company, right? Yeah? Well, they're more than that. They're the CEOs of it. They hardly ever come to have time to come visit me. Even so, they managed to make it out here that day. I think they used a short vacation or something. Huh? If it's the time I was thinking about, I remember seeing an unfamiliar black limousine in front of his house. I can see tears starting to form around the corners of his eyes. That was the first time I baked a cookie all by myself. I went to surprise them. It worked. They thought Amaki made it, which made me happy, I suppose. They said it was delicious. <laughs> My parents enjoyed something I did for once. But I failed right at the very end. Wait, what? How did you fail? By being a child.
As they drove away, I couldn't help but cry. I need to be stronger. Nobody wants to see me see their kid crying because they have to leave. Such a mess. I don't want them to have to worry about me anymore. I... My mouth hangs open. Can't believe what I'm hearing. He somehow manages to gain his composure and begins to talk again. That was the last time I saw them in person. I've talked to them over the phone, of course, but it's just been just a Maki and me for years. I'm reminded of it every sunset. Shin. What am I doing? I apologize, Dark. I didn't mean to share my life story with you. Great. Now you're probably worried about me. Wait! Before I'm able to think straight again, Shin stands up and starts walking away. Shin! I'm pretty tired, Dark. I think I'm going home. Is it alright with you? There's the, a look in his eyes. I don't think I've seen this one before. It's like he's saying, Please, leave me alone. Y yeah. Thanks. I consider catching up to walk him home, but... I doubt he'd appreciate that. <sighs> Maybe I'll head home myself. There's not much else to do, especially if Shin's not here. Look up into the sky. The last set to fireworks for the evening signals the end of this year's Bond Festival. With a bitter smile, I turn to leave the shrine grounds. Summer is quickly coming to an end. Well, we went a little bit longer than we should have, but hey, that was a good episode. At least I think. <sighs> so, yeah. I'd like to thank you all for watching another Let's Play by me, the Game of 7 of More Not Too Revised. Um, if you're interested in playing this game, you can go down to the link in the description where you can download and play this game for free. And, yeah. Like, thank you all for watching. So, Please comment, because like, comments, tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you want to help my YouTube grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay and neuter your animals to help control the pet population. And until next time on Let's Play by me, the Game Wolf 7 of More Not Too Revised. See ya.